Okay, so today it's a 2017 Ford Fusion Energy. That's an electric vehicle, plug-in hybrid. Uh, got called in here today because the AC is not working properly. Um, the AC not working properly was actually something stupid, but that's not really what this video is about. This video is a little bit more about why you need to have a factory scan tool sometimes. Um, I've tried all the aftermarket ones on this car already, just as a verification that I was right. But... Here's our AC setup over here. This is Ford IDS using the uh, Bosch provided Ford VCM2. And this is what we end up having here. So when we actually want to turn on the AC compressor on this thing, first thing you want to see is up here, 292 volts to the AC compressor. So forget about using your voltmeter. You're not going out there and verifying it that way um, unless you're sure that yeah, you have the right cat rating and so on. Um, not really a do-it-yourselfer type thing. Um, but we have our compressor RPM up there, our electronic automatic temperature control state, power pack state. Um, there are no codes in the system right now. Vehicle battery voltage is 14.8. The codes are already gone, by the way, because I've already repaired the problem. Um, we're at a body shop. It was just a simple thing of uh, one wire being backed out of a connector. But what I wanted to show you here, though, is how do you determine whether or not the actual AC is on? The engine RPM right now, as you'll see, I think you know, I'll show you up there right now, it's actually not, the engine is not running. It's not building any, uh, uh, well, let's say it's not in high, it's in a regular hybrid mode. But when we turn the AC on, which now works, what we're looking for here is we're looking for a compressor current amperage. We want to see compressor current amperage. We want to see compressor RPM right up over here. And these are the things that we know, that that's how we can tell that our uh, compressor is actually on, other than the fact, of course, that it gets cold. We could start watching pressures. Pressures are fine to watch. Um, but with the scan tool though, you get a really good indication already though that electrically that the system is working. And it's only 64 degrees out right now, but the system will still come on up until anything above 60 degrees. But I just wanted to show you though, um, you know, there are times where you can get out all the test equipment, you can do all that. A lot of the work that can be done is right here from the uh, driver's seat and having the right equipment. So again, it's a Ford Fusion Hybrid. Um, you know, if you're going to be working on one of these things, make sure that you're using something that can actually, you know, get all the information. That unit right there is really not that expensive. Ford IDS is like $900 a year. Um, it's probably one of the more affordable units. So definitely something to look into, though. If you own one of these things and you really want to start doing your own repairs, make sure you do a lot of research because uh, none of this here, you know, forget about the gasoline engine part of it there. Anything at all that you touch out there, remember that voltage. 292 volts just going to the AC compressor. So the things that you don't expect to have high voltage, even though they have orange cables everywhere, but one little slip up and, uh, and you'll be in a world of hurt. Anyhow, have a good one.